to inspire the children that like, hey man, we might all see the world differently, but it's it's beautiful in its own right, you know? And we have a right to be who we are, so. I feel you on that. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. My name is Anthony Parker, and we have an exciting guest today for you and you and everyone else. She's an entertainer as well as a mom, as well as other things, and we're going to get all into her business because that's what we do over here on this channel, you heard me. My name is Anthony, as I mentioned. Um, the young lady that we're going to bring to, oh, before I do that, make sure y'all subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Do that for your boy. Make sure you comment, share, like, and in no such order, but definitely I need y'all to share. I need y'all to let more people know about this channel so that we can make this thing happen because this is the movement. This is the plan. This is the man. And on the other side of town in Arizona, that is, we have you know, the girl. I don't want to call it the girl. The one who's about to make it happen. And the future musician uh none other than shanice barrett welcome to the show shanice what's happening with your girl not much man i want to thank you for having me i'm really honored to be on the show today okay and the check is in the mail okay appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> we are glad to have you i am glad to have you as well as my audience uh first of all tell everybody um a little bit about yourself and uh your eye condition as we just basically just going to touch upon the eye can you know your blindness or what have you uh-huh yeah sure no problem um yeah i have retinopathy of prematurity and so everything my in my visual acuity because i'm partially sighted uh is kind of slanted down to the left and therefore as you can imagine my life is full of so many awkward moments man you know a lot of people questioning like why aren't you looking at me when when you're talking and all that and it's like you know i i had developed a little bit of an attitude you know kind of spit fire back at them like well maybe i don't want to look at you type of whatever you know we have our coping mechanism but um anyways i'm just i'm just out here trying to do my thing you know and uh i don't let anything stop me like you said i'm a mom i okay. keep it going every day hold down the house for my babies so okay. we do oh. what we can exactly know? and if and, and if you know the thing of it is is like this man you 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 have to develop thick skin in, in some cases but you know mm -hmm. if there are like preventive measures if it bothers you man you may want to you know say well um if i don't want people looking at my face or whatever you know you do what you got to do but hey you know i understand how you come in whatnot so it's good that i'm totally blind so i can't see nothing so if i don't look can look or whatever that's just basically on on, on me but I, I really truly understand so with that being said um tell us a little bit about your your, your um upbringing in terms of uh your your you know, how was it for you? And uh, also, when did you uh, lose your sight? Sure. So um, I was born with this condition to a teenage mother. Um, the doctors had the doctors had predicted, my God, you know, this baby isn't going to live, um, you know, two days, if anything. And I defied all the doctor's odds, you know, and my mother was very strong about it. She said, you could predict any child's future, but not mine. And sure enough, man, like I, I inherited my mother's fighting spirit. She was only a 15 year old girl, you know, mm -hmm. and she would walk around with me with monitors and everything like that. And everybody's like, oh, give her up for adoption. She's too much. She's going to be all this and that. And she's like, nah, man, I'm not giving up my baby. And she stood by me and, um, you know, all that. So she, I got her fighting spirit okay i can tell i love i love talking to you man because i can tell, definitely tell it definitely resonates with you very highly and what have you uh -huh. so um your kids how many how many do you have i got three daughters yeah and i got three daughters and they're beautiful they're my everything okay. um and that's why i do old? everything i do mm -hmm. what's the ages what's the ages of them? um 11 9 and and 6. 
Okay. Eleven. Now, mm-hmm. speaking of, that's why you do what all you have to do for them, which is a uh, you know make it happen. And I love to hear that when parents, you know, so I, you know, I do for my kids. I'm doing all everything to have because this generation is so messed up with us, you know. So we never know what's what's, mm-hmm. what's to be left for for our kids. So I love to hear that. Right. Speaking of, speaking of that, uh, tell us some of the things and, and sacrifices and what have you that you have had to make and is currently mm-hmm. making now for your kids. Sure. So as you can imagine, a lot of us parents are here at home. Um, Despite my visual issues, um, my family is really great. My daughters lovingly refer to my my eyesight as magical. And so that's a beautiful sentiment and it means everything to me because I I care about what they think, you know? And um, I I recognize that I'm the, I'm the woman that they are looking up to, that I'm, I'm the woman that they're gonna look to, to be like. And so I have to lead by example and everything. And so it's beautiful, man, because they help me with the struggle and everything. Like we'll be on YouTube, right? And we'll be searching a video because we like to watch cartoons together and they'll be like, I'll be like, okay, you know, say we're on the search menu. Uh, I'm like, where's the S? And they're like, over, over, down, over, okay. right there. Okay, okay, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. Very, very, so. Yeah, very helpful. It's also a bonding uh, a process as, as well, you know, because I have a six-year-old and he mm-hmm. definitely assists me Aww. in whatever that I do as well. So with that being said, what else do you you do? I mean, uh, as far as you are a mother, um, you, huh? you know, you do other things as well. So we're going to talk about that. What else do you do? Sure. So um, I'm I'm on track to become a motivational speaker. I've been doing a lot of seminars and things, um, mostly locally in my town. You know, inspiring others. Um, I want I want I'm mostly focused on the children. I'm I'm going to be traveling around to schools in the U.S. Um, doing seminars and speaking in their gymnasiums about like, hey, listen. You know, um, because I feel like there's not enough uh, education out there about people with visual um, struggles and everything like that. And that people just kind of assume either we're blind or we're not, you know, but really there's this gray area. And I feel like I'm walking that gray area, brother. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm all energy and, and frequency and vibration. Like it's not all physical form for me. You know, I'm very spiritual. So I want to inspire the children that like, hey, man, we might all see the world differently, but it's it's beautiful in its own right, you know, and we have a right to be who we are. So I feel you on that, Shanice, definitely. That's a, that's, 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 that's a really good thing, baby. Um. So as far as your steps toward being an inspirational and motivational speaker and what have you, what have you done to to create that lane, to create that that um, the opportunity for yourself? What have you done? Sure. So I have um, legally obtained the LLC for my company, Divine Time Productions. And it's divine time because I truly believe there has never been a more divine time to create and be, as I lovingly refer to it as a sound painter. You know, we paint with sound. Mm -hmm. And so what it was is that I've always been a poet and then I found my voice on the track and man, there's no stopping me now. Like I talk a lot about quantum physics and quantum theory, Fibonacci spiral, you know, a manifest reality, things like that in my music. It's beautiful. I've obtained a fan base of more than uh, 15,000 people online across the forums. Um, that really do love and believe in my message of positivity, you know. Some of them have gone as far as to say, Shanice, you're a breath of fresh air in a hot, stuffy room because most people out here talk about negativity and Mm -hmm. this and that, which we all have struggles, but it's nice to hear somebody so of the light and positive. So that's the response I'm getting. Amen to that, definitely. Now, speaking of sound, speaking of uh, uh, motivation, I caught you. Um, by accident, I was scrolling one one night. I stay up very uh, late, and I found your your mm. YouTube channel. Tell us a little bit about your YouTube channel, and uh, also what what caused you to get into the ent- entertainment field. Sure. So, I've always had this light in me, and I know that it needs to shine. I mean, this is what inspires many. We all have it. We just shine bright. You know, we got to have the courage. One of the lines in my song that. I remember the first rap I ever wrote and it said, you know, do you have the courage to look beyond the mirror? And so that's really facing up to like acceptance of who we are and everything like that. My YouTube channel is The Real Shanice Barrett. 
and I have a, a good few songs on there and I'm continuing to edit through various software and, and put my music out there and everything. Like I said, check me out. Um, a lot of my songs are called uh, Divine Time, Ode to Spirituality, Pain in Me, things like that. Um, just very inspirational, you know? Definitely, definitely. I definitely like the one that you did with your, your girls. Um, pardon me if I can't mm. think of the name of it. Um, slips my mind. Together as we'll I, make it. That yeah. one, and I and I, I let my girlfriend check it out. She enjoyed it as well as I just I just uh, sent the link to one of my uh, my co-hosts, so she's checking it out. So I'm, I'm gonna do my best to definitely share it and whatnot. What all can we expect on your YouTube channel? And are there other outlets that that we can find? And you know, just tell us, give us the skinny on 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 that. Sure. So I'm currently working on going across all platforms um, through like third party distributing, um, you know, Spotify, SoundCloud, all that. I'm really I'm really exploding on the scene. And like I said, I have I've obtained a fan base. Um, I started out on BandLab, which is is growing in popularity honestly um it's got about 10 million users it's a social network for artists number mm -hmm. one fans producers it's just a blast it really is like forget facebook you know we got band lab <laughs> mm -hmm. and so um and so yeah you can definitely expect a lot of motivation for kids i'm gonna be doing animating and everything like that okay. um you know cartoons and stuff for kids i really want to you know, touch their hearts. I mean, it means a lot to me. Um, children are just so wonderful. You know what I mean? Like yeah, they're innocent and they're just so, they have that sparkle in their eyes and that joy for life. And okay. so I love that. But as well as inspiring adults that have gone through some struggles, man, because one thing I'm learning is we all have a struggle, whether it's our eyes, our hands, our bodies, anything, you know? So. I can definitely, I can definitely uh, agree to that. Now, do you think just, just uh, question? Do you think okay, this is this is your love, you love uh, music and whatnot. But do you mm -hmm. uh, and, and inspiring others? Do you think that you would be doing this had you not been um, partially cited? I don't think so, man. Because you know, um, I think that being partially cited had a lot to do with it because i have a beautiful singing voice not to toot my own you do, horn you do, you do. <laughs> but well, I'm a, let me let me mm -hmm. can i blow it for you right quick beep, beep. Mm -hmm. go ahead i said can i blow the right. horn for you beep, beep. yeah yeah blow it up. <laughs> um so i think without my partial sight i don't think that i would have the soul that i have i'm very deep and soulful and you can hear it you know when i sing when i rap when i speak so mm -hmm. it's definitely a gift it's a gift. I love it. Okay. Yeah. So you said you wouldn't be doing this. What, what would you possibly be doing? Do you know? You have any idea what you probably would, would be doing? I'd probably be busted out in Hollywood already, like trying to act, trying to dance, trying to, you know, um, not that this is holding me back. It's really not. It's just that um, I think that I'd be a lot more cocky if I could say that, you know, I think I'd, I'd be a lot more full of myself, but I don't know because I've been this way my whole life. And so I'm very humble. So... <laughs> So you're enjoying the fact that you are uh, a motivational speaker? Uh, speaker. Yep. Right. Okay, yeah, cool. I, it's so much fun, you know. So why why music? Why choosing music to to um to um filter your message? It just speaks to me. It speaks to me, and I wrote a. It speaks to me on a level that's just hard to comprehend. Um, I wrote a song, and if I may, I might just sing a couple words for you. You sure um, can. The, the song is uh, Run to the Rise, is what it's called. And it was one of the first few songs I wrote. And it says, I guess this is the struggle before the rise, you know? And then so the hook is this it goes, Look me in the eyes when you're talking. Look me in the eyes when you're talking. Yeah. Look me in the eyes when you're talking. Because it's kind of like putting up my hand mm -hmm. like I've had enough, you know, right. of people being like, well, why aren't you looking at me? That hurts people's right. feelings, you know, and it hurt me a lot. I was wow. bullied and I, you know, it's like it did hurt me. It's like, well, it's not that I don't want to look at you. It's that I see the world different and I'm sorry <laughs> that you can't understand. So and does it does it bother you a lot when you when, when you always have to explain to people uh, like like certain things such as that? Right. Well, I've talked to some professionals like I've, you know, I've been in therapy and things and they're like, you don't really owe anybody an explanation. Thank you. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. 
I know. Thank you. That's true. I just but feel this- like I try to avoid those awkward moments, you know, of like, well, how well can you see? And why don't you look? Or are you drunk? You know, there's just so people, that's, people need to be educated, brother. You know what I mean? Like, not all of us have, you know, star quality eyesight, anything like, I don't know. Just- well, I mean, it, and, and that's not, not, <laughs> not, not, it's not only just eyesight. I, I mean, there are different types of uh, impairments, there are different types of disabilities. Yeah. So just think, you know, if we, if you feel that you've been bullied for, from that, there are other people who are uh, uh, bullied because of other reasons and are quote unquote, you know what I'm saying, bullied. I don't, I don't like using the name word, but there, there are people mm-hmm. who tease for other reasons and stuff like that. So it, it all about, it's all about the cream rising to the top so I, and i think that that you're going to be mm-hmm. uh, successful in what you do and what have you what 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 if anything that you would like to uh leave the people any type of motivational you got you know two minutes just to give them some motivational tips to uh to help them through the the trying times that they're going through especially right now sure and you know a big thing a big thing for me and what i'm about is that creativity is creativity is the best form of therapy whether that's art drawing, sketching, painting, singing, rapping, writing, you know, all of that. Um, Creativity is a form of therapy that I think is underrated because those of us, a lot of us have been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? And that um, if you can turn your pain into art and make it a beautiful thing for yourself, for the people, people will gravitate towards that like a magnet, you know what I mean? And it'll help you feel better as well because art is just a beautiful form. And like I said, painting with sound, painting with sound is so beautiful to me. And shout out to all my people on Band Lab because we're all out here trying to make it. And it's it's just so much fun um, getting to know everybody as artists and what they stand for, so. Okay, and where else could people find you at? That was, that was great. What else can people find? Sure. So, the real Shanice Baird on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I love Instagram. It's awesome. I'm always taking nature pictures and stuff. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. And like I said, I'm gonna be busting out on the scene on a lot of streaming platforms. So. All right, and y'all definitely, if y'all want to take part in uh, helping her uh, fulfill her dreams and her goals, you all are welcome to. Because uh, I'm gonna put the link in the. description description get in touch with Shanice Barrett and and check out some of the things what's coming up next for uh Miss Shanice superstar Barrett ah thank you yeah so I'm I'm working on like some lo-fi house music right now just something real punchy and jumpy like just something kind of a little bit of torment and pain and beauty but also you know inspiring and I mean I can get very um very droll in some of my things like if I'm having a rough time I'll 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 do a very emotional song but mostly like just some jumpy house you know a lot of I'm switching up the lanes because Something I found is like, I do, I could do, I love, love hip hop because mm-hmm. of being a poet, because mm-hmm. of being a poet all these years. But I, I, I want to experiment with other genres as well. So, okay. and just push myself, see how far I can go. All so. right. And lastly, if you want to tell the side of people something from the fact that they have been, uh, quote unquote, ridiculing you because you're not looking directly or just them, the, the, these individuals asking crazy questions, what would you like to say to them? To them? I would like to say, why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? <laughs> okay, all right, okay. She yeah. has a very, very pretty voice. You're gonna, you're gonna, man, you, you're gonna be somebody. Just, just keep that positivity, man. And I'm not just saying it because you're on the channel, but really, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, ass. thank you, brother. Really, really, I'm glad I had the opportunity to, to speak with you, with you, and talk with you, chop it up. So you did a great job because at first you were nervous, um, in the beginning before we even started recording. But this whole recording was 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 a great thing for you. So I appreciate you all subscribing. Thanks for listening to. Uh, and viewing Third Eye Visions. And y'all make sure y'all go over and check out uh, Shanice Barrett. I'm going to put the link in the description. Y'all have um, have a wonderful day, man. You know, hug somebody. I know it sounds cliche, but man, it's times are too short to be up here teasing people and ridiculing people for what they don't have because you have. So you never know what people are going through. So with that being said, Shanice, you have any last five second words? Yeah. I just want to tell you, thank you so much for having me. And I really stand by and support what you're doing. And I'll be sharing your channel everywhere, all over the place, man. Thank you for all that you do. Thanks, love. I appreciate it.